Hello, all you coin aficionados out there, and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have two German coins for you. The 1972 10 Pfennig coin and the 1972 50 Pfennig coin. As you can see, uh, the 10 Pfennig coin is on the right and the 50 Pfennig coin is on the left. The 10 Pfennig coin is a brass clad steel coin and you can probably see that the 50 Pfennig coin is not. It's a copper nickel coin. One of the things that we need to remember when we look at German coins is that until 1990, well from 1945 until 1990 there were two Germanys. So these coins are from the Federal Republic of Germany or Bund Bundespublik Deutschland, and there was another Germany from 1945 to 1990, and that was the German Democratic Republic. The German Democratic Republic was frequently called East Germany, and the Bundesrepublik Deutschland, or the German Federal Republic, or Federal Republic of Germany, was often called West Germany. So these particular coins are from West Germany, and they're from 1972 about 18 years before the Berlin Wall uh, led to a reunification of Germany. The reunification was in 1990. So these are obviously pre-Euro coins. One of the things we do whenever we look at German coins is to try to find the mint mark. Uh, Germany has four different mints uh, or had at the time four different mints that were producing these coins. There was a D mint mark which was Munich, the F mint mark which was Stuttgart, the G mint mark which was Karlsruhe, and the J mint mark which was Hamburg. So when we look at the mint mark on the one on the right we can see pretty clearly there is a G there and that G stands for the Karlsruhe mint. So this 10 Pfennig coin uh, was minted at the Karls, Karlsruhe Mint. If we look at the 50 Pfennig coin, and I'll blow it up a little bit so now you can clearly see the G, uh, the 50 Pfennig coin, and like many of the coins you find, uh, some of the coins we find have these marks or scrapes on them. Uh, we usually don't clean them because it adds a little bit to the patina and it's clear that these coins were used in circulation. So this has the F mint mark on the 50 Pfennig coin, which means it was made in Stuttgart. When we look at these two coins, we see that the uh, 10 Pfennig coin has the same reverse style as the 1, the 2, and the 5 Pfennig coin. And we actually have another video in which we looked at the 1, the 2, and the 5 Pfennig. Uh, we have rye coming up all the way to the center in which they, uh, there's a break and there's a mint mark. It says the value in the very center of the coin. Uh, and then at the bottom it says Fennig, which is the denomination, the denomination and value. Um, on the 50 Fennig coin, we see that it's, it's quite different. It says Bundesrepublik Deutschland, uh, 50 in the center. Uh, the mint mark is here right above the bottom uh, lettering which says Fennig. When we turn them over uh, we see that the 50 Fennig coin is quite a beautiful coin. Uh, one of the interesting things about the German coins is they will have these, uh, the, the lower denominations will have an oak seedling on them uh, and then we get to this 50 Fennig coin and we actually have a woman uh, planting an oak seedling. So he, we have the oak seedling and that comes in the one, the five, the ten, uh, and the fifty fennig coin. And then we have, an, I mean, the, the one, the two, the five, and the ten fennig coin, which are the copper clad. And then when we get to the fifty fennig coin, we not only change the materials, but we have uh, the lady actually planting the seedling in the ground. And here at the bottom you see the date. We see a little bit of beaded uh, work around the inner edge. 
um, in in the and that's on the 50. On the back of the 10, we see Bundesrepublik Deutschland again, 1972 at the bottom between two stars. Now, one of the things that we know is slightly different about the 1972 50 Pfennig coin is they went in from a, a reeded edge or a sliced edge in 1971. So if you find a 1971 coin, you'll find a reeded edge. It won't be a smooth edge. The 72 coin is the first year that they went to the smooth edge. Okay, in terms of how many of these were made, the 10 Pfennig coin in 1972, the G mint made 71.76 million. Uh, the J mint made 90, almost 97 million. The F mint made 110 million. And the D mint made 104 million. So this is the mint, uh, the G mint, which and I'll go again to the back so you can see that G. The G Mint made the least of them, but there were so many of these coins made that you are not going to find um, uh, much value in them. Uh, you may be in the uh, 10 to 20 cents US for a regular coin that you find uh, in circulation. On the 50 uh, Fennig coin, this mint mark is the F mint mark. Uh, there were 30 million of these made. It's probably worth about 70 cents in a little bit better condition than this. This is probably worth, I don't know, 25 to 50 cents US uh, plus shipping. For the 50 Fennig coin, this particular one again was made at Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart made the most of the 50 Fennig coins that year. They made 30 million, um, 26 million D mint marks were made. 17 million G mint marks were made and 26.7 million J mint marks were made. For some reason, this particular mint mark, the F mint mark is the more valuable of the coins. And in a little bit better condition than this, it would probably be worth about 70 to 75 cents US without the, uh, the blemish on it. Okay, that's all we have for today. For our German coins, uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these videos. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks again from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.